Okay, 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 okay. I think this is going to work. It is Alien Trilogy for the PlayStation. I thought I've always owned this on Saturn, but the case, the box, everything. I've always had it on PlayStation, so. Um, maybe a buddy of mine had it on Saturn and I helped him out or something like that. And it shows how far Alien games have come. Proving that Alien, Colonial Marines, and probably some of the other ones are, are good games. And I don't I don't understand. Um, I thought this was an okay game for when it came out. I, I don't understand the hostility that exists towards a lot of these games. I don't. It, it, it absolutely baffles me. Um, and it baffles a few other people because I truly think that there might be something... Some kind of conspiracy in the both the gaming press, which might be heavily controlled by some entity who is trying to destroy, bankrupt uh, studio development houses, publishers, companies. I think they've been going after Nintendo for 30 years. Um, why? I don't know. Um, I don't want to speculate like on secret societies or anything uh, of that sort. I'm just going to say that, I, you know, what what is it for them... And I believe it, it is enslavement, that they have gone after and they have destroyed using certain tools and resources. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. Look, I know, it's like, oh, well, I want to see proof, proof. You know, you know what? Up yours, because that's not how the world works. You want to see how the proof, how the sun creates light? How do you want to see that? For, without without any, any scientific things, how do you want to see that? How about we take a look at what can and cannot be? Why are so many development houses suffering? Why have so many gone out of business in the last 20 years? Why are so many publishers gone? And so forth and so on. What has caused that particular phenomena to happen within the video game industry? There's absolutely no reason for any of that to happen. Truthfully, there isn't any. Um, this is also, this game here in particular, I'm going to get off that topic, um, but I'm just pointing out it seems dang obvious. Now there's an alien slot machine that's actually pretty fun to play. Now let's go to the options screen first. And uh, taking a look here. Raging Terror, Acid Rain, Xenomania. Well, let's leave it at Acid Rain. Now let me see what the controller options are. Now the controller options here are the same as Doom. Um, and, um, oh, uh, wow, okay. And, uh, not only is it the same as Doom, um, the weapon switching, though, is, uh, the triangle button, so fire one, fire two. So that's uh, that's pretty neat. Camera sway on, uh, memory card management. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. That's um, that's what I want. I want to format the memory card. That happened once to censored and uh, display credits. I accidentally hit that. I'm sorry. I went to go to exit. Let's go ahead and start the game. And um, right now it looks pretty respectable or uh, respectful of uh, the uh, just like uh, the game I was playing yesterday Alien Colonial Marines by Sega uh, this one looks pretty respectable um, respectful well both I guess to uh, the source material so it um, it obviously plays uh, similar to Doom has uh, but is this is polygonal rendering Okay, and it uses something similar to ray casting. So do I want to blow that up? Or what do I want to do with that? Okay, I guess I don't want to do anything with that. If I do this, nope, I got a radar down there that's always on. So I don't get a map. I don't get a map here. And um, not much of a gun, to tell you the truth, but uh, that's the way a lot of these games were built back then. All right. So we see barrels that probably explode. Okay. Well, that doesn't do anything. Well, um, what am I supposed to do? Shoot it right up close? I'm just wasting ammo here. Uh, maybe this gun just isn't powerful enough. But wow, these things are everywhere. Open sesame? No. I don't want to be stuck right at the beginning of the game. Come on. Come up here after shooting two or three facehuggers. 
and I'm stuck already. Yeah, let's see, there's something not jiving here. Let me go all the way back over here, so I'm not being timed. No, that. I'm pressing the correct button for action, and uh, I'm not getting any action. I'm getting inaction. So what's what's the deal, hombres? And there's no way for me to need it. Yeah, I know I'm gonna run out of ammo. Oh wow, okay, this is only on the easy level that I don't really run out of ammo. Something's gotta blow up here. Thank you. Sheesh. Face hugger. Kill him. So those don't blow up. They're slightly different hue. Alright, what do we got here? No, they look like they're the same hue. Huh. Alright. Ammo. Derm patch. Okay. I don't know. Am I on the Sulaco in this game? Question. Uh, it looks like they got a little too addicted with this at probe. This is um, not only a waste of ammo, it's a waste of time. Now I gotta shoot every one of these. So I don't know how many levels I'll be playing here, if any at all. I mean, you know, how many of these do I have to shoot? Can I jump? No, I can strafe. Yeah, see, I can't jump. I should just be able to jump over the barrels. A xenomorph! Or two. Three. And more. Wow, they, they suck energy. Corner, damn it. Die. Okay, I'm doing a little better now that I got an ammunition clip. But now I'm out of. And I just saw a face hugger and then another xenomorph. And I'm dead. Okay, so, um. What this game needs is something called practice. That better not have been Ripley from. Okay, let's give us another shot. That would be ridiculous. That better not have been Ripley from the, um, uh, what is it? Alien 3. Because that, this does not look like that prison complex in Alien 3. Uh, what, what's the name of that planet? I don't, I don't remember. Alien cute. That's all that it really is. Okay, so we know there's going to be a face hugger. Try to get that one bullet. We know that these blow up if shot. Okay, so that's exactly what has to be done right off the bat. So check if there's any more of oh, those boxes. Alright, so that's coming out of the elevator. I don't mind playing as Ripley, though. That's fine by me. This is, uh... Okay, so those boxes don't blow up. It's the ones with the uh, Max Hedrum thing on. Those blow up. And, uh, so I get ammunition and uh, shotgun cartridges. Right, now, see, we're learning. Like I said, practice, practice, practice. Um... So those blow up, but, um... That didn't do, didn't do me any good. I'm over here. I gotta, there's gotta be a way to get past these barrels. Otherwise there wouldn't be so many of them. What does that do? Door powered up. Alright, well let me do this again. I don't want you to live. Um... 
I'm gonna do that again. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'm Hicks or Hudson. I think it looked like Ripley without her hair. We know, or I know, that the xenomorphs are through that door over there. So, the best advice I have for myself is not open that door. Go down here. What do we have here? Shotgun shells. Um, a nine. This gangster rat. Alright. Um, well, I guess I should draw a map or something here. But, um, well, let's find out, eh? Alright. Don't go in any of the doors. That's my advice. Where is that? Yeah. Alright. Don't go in any of the doors right now. Explore. Shoot, I got a face hugger. No, no, no. Get off. Bug hunt. Uh, uh, not again. I just want to get past the first level on easy. Wow, that that would probably be realistic, though. Um. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Why the marine is done? Battery required. Okay, so that's what's down here. Through this corridor. So I probably went straight to the exit. You want me to look at other things, right? So, let's keep going. Or I'm going to keep going. Is that the. Ah. Uh, Go this way. Why? Because I see something on the ground. All right, I got 60 bullets again. Um, this is, I guess, the sequel to the Atari Jaguar version. All right, so that's that. Let's get rid of those. There might be something in these. That's why I have to shoot them. Waste of time and ammo. Somebody thought that was a good idea. Pro. I don't know why um, why the Marines would hide stuff, or Wayland Court would hide stuff in um, these. Or if I really wanted open boxes. Why don't I just go up and open the boxes? <laughs> just asking there, right? <laughs> Got a face hugger. What I could really use is a health pack. And I'm out of bullets again. And... And I'm being chased by Xenomorphs, probably. Because that was the door I wanted to avoid, and... I did it. Let me in, let me in. Okay, let me in somewhere. Okay, got a derm patch. Got an auto mapper. Got a close that close that door. And but what I don't have is ammo. Alright. Okay. Um advantage of this situation as it would be. Bug can't get me from here. So, it's a happy accident. Like a Bob Ross painting. I don't think he painted Xenomorphs. I had a dream Bob Ross told me, like, um... Like, I don't paint Xenomorphs. No, that, that's... <laughs> He didn't say that. He said he doesn't pay train. Why not train? Or do you say terrain? I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about Bob Ross. It's passed on. I could really use a different gun than this. And, you know, I mean, 
the ammo goes out too quick, the things take on too many hits. So is this a good game, bad game? It's a mediocre game. So th this is the door now open. And is there anything in here for me? Is that what I think it is? No, it's a shotgun. Which is, uh... Let's give it a whirl. Oh yeah. Hey, come back here. What? Did he extinguish himself? I don't know. Okay. Let's keep exploring this room. Or I will keep exploring this room. What? 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 Another one? Facehuggers. A whole bunch of them. Ah! They're dead? Okay. So can the shotguns can the shotgun destroy the barrels? Except for that one, I guess. I don't know why. Alright. The shotgun can destroy the barrels. Which is cool looking. Not really I'm not sure why Wayland Corp would want that. <laughs> yeah, I want you to destroy the barrels. Isn't that right, Peter? No, I'm not. Y you all seen me. You know I'm not Patrick Warburg, okay? <laughs> not that I wouldn't mind having him on the uh, show. I'm gonna find this battery. It says I have an auto mapping feature. That right there. There we go. All right, that is too cool. That helps. That helps a lot. Okay, so let me continue down the yay corridor. Okay, there's, so this is the stairway that's marked, and I'm back over here, but I never got a battery. So the battery required, otherwise. It's door no open, which wouldn't stop a real marine. I also need a health pack. Just about dead here. Okay, I'm learning, so what I would do, this is all memorization. It's less action and more memorization. I'm getting a shotgun, I can probably do a bug hunt easier. I can't, I can't go in there. It's, it's not a door? Well, according to this it is. But, um, I guess I don't go in there. So why would I not go in here? Okay. Maybe I should play James Bond. Um, up, over and around. Is that where the bugs were? I think that's where the bugs were. And that means there's more bugs in there, right? Do you a bug? guessed correctly, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Where did that come from? Oh, that's not, not fair. Alright. Well, that's enough for me. I'm, I I don't want to go through this a third time, to be honest. I just don't. Alrighty. Coffee for Binky at gmail.com. That's C O F F E E, the number four, B I N K Y, at gmail.com. And yeah, Patreon, all that good stuff. I I just don't want to go through another part of this. This this is this is tedious. Um even if I wasn't recording and narrating, I would not go through it another time. I would probably go through it tomorrow. So I didn't press start. It's going into demo. See you later. Mm -hmm.